Alright, so nagbabalik tayo sa ating violin tips and tricks. And for today's video, let's talk about our left hand, no? The stopping hand and how we can effectively uh, extend and also contract our fingers. Saan ba nang gagaling yung movements? How can we practice it? How can we use it to effectively stop our strings and actually stay in tune? Yan yung pag-uusapan natin on today's video. Okay, so first things first, when we talk about stopping the strings no, sa violin, we try to uh, gauge exactly how far each uh, note is no, from each other. So, wala tayong frets and we only rely on our ears, the feeling of our hands, no, kapag sanay na tayo. And of course, uh, yan nga, how we could actually listen to the final tone na lumalabas dun sa ating instrument. So, a guide that we use is our fingers, no, kung saan natin tinatouch yung fingers. So, technically, so, more or less, a finger from the edge of your instrument is one semitone, no. So, Bawat isang space or distance of our finger, no, our finger's width is considered one semitone. So, parang ganun siya. So, if we play a chromatic scale, no, na puro semitones, it would sound... So, ganun yung magiging sound niya. No? So, it's important to note na nag iba iba yung ating uh, finger positions. Now, how can we actually uh, memorize those fingers positions? It will depend on the scales na ginagamit natin. Now, talking about extending, no? Meron tamang way of extending and there is also uh, the correct way of actually contracting those fingers, no? Why do we need to extend? Of course, when we're trying to hit a note that is outside the reach of your standard position. So, for example, if I want to hit F sharp from uh, A string, so I would extend my finger. So, paano ba yung ginagawa? So, extensions actually happen not from the tips of our fingers. Kasi akala ng karamihan, when we extend our fingers, we use the tips. No, yun yung pinanglilid natin. But it actually happens a little bit lower here sa my knuckles natin. So, basically, the fingertips, their job is to only stop the string, no? Exactly put it on where it needs to be. But the distances that we adjust comes from here, this part, no? Kung ano yung nag, nag-move sa atin. So, how we can effectively be moving this is by practicing, no, extending our fingers as well. So, kailangan magkaroon tayo ng stretch in between our uh, fingers. Itong part na to, yung gap na yan, dictates how far we could actually stretch. Now, we could use other parts of our fingers kasi pag nakapwesto na tayo dito, mahirap na basta-basta na lang mag-extend na ganun. We have to also use the leverage of our thumb for example no when we extend no kasi if we put our thumb right at the back kapag masyado siyang malayo the extension would not be as good because some uh, effort is going to the back so pag nag-extend usually what we do is we put our thumb a little bit closer to the middle para we can extend forward and also extend backward kasi sometimes we need to hit notes below, no? So, for example, nasa third position ka, A is already an extension. Now, I need to extend back if I want to hit, for example, Do natural. No? And also, those extensions could uh, help in uh, creating what we call half shifts, no? Yung nagsishift tayo without moving the whole hand. So, for example, coming here. So, we're shifting with uh, a leading finger instead of moving the whole hand. So, may mga techniques tayong gagamitin para mas madali yung pag-move natin ng fingers, no? For extending and for extending forward and also extending backwards. Now, when we talk about 
contractions naman, saan ba siya ginagamit? Usually, this happens in between. Kasi usually, ang nag extend lang talaga is for first finger and finger number 4, or which is your pinky. So, first and fourth finger, yung extensions nila dito. Now, the fingers in the middle, no? Uh, the second finger and the third finger, no? Huwag kayo malito, guys, kung nagpa-piano kayo because sa violin, 1, 2, 3, 4, no? Hindi 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yan. So, second and third finger, sila yung nagko-contract. So, ano, what do we mean by contraction? Dumidikit sila. So, for example, if you're playing A, Do sharp, di ba? La, Si, Do, Re. Now, if I want to go to a Do natural, you have to move your second finger back. No, kailangan yung pag-contract natin na ganun, it would actually feel na lumapit tayo dun sa ating first finger. Now, kung kanina sa extensions, we rely mostly on our knuckles. When we contract naman, we have to rely on the fingertips. Why? Kasi it needs to be as close as possible when we move back. No? So, kasi when we move forward, we could actually tend to overshoot pero mas madali siya ibalik. But when we are moving backwards, may tatamaan tayo. So, the danger here is, for example, yun nga, dumikit ka, dumikit na yung fingers mo, yung knuckles mo, but yung fingertips mo, hindi pa rin siya nakapwesto ng tama. So, you have to also un understand how to adjust yung mga contractions na yan. So, ito yung magiging tama. Now, if I want to go to a do natural, no? So, ganun siya kalapit. So, uh, when you are moving backwards, no? You have to have the feeling na yung fingernail of your first finger, for example, is hitting the back of your second finger. No? So, parang nakapatong siya, in a way. No? So, you don't really need to rely much. Of course, movement still comes from the knuckles. Don't get me, uh, go, don't get it mixed up. No, the movement still comes from the knuckles, but the the finger tip will be the one leading. Kung tama na ba yung puesto. So, pwede lang ba yun sa first and second? Of course, sa third then, no? Kuwari, sharp naman. Same thing, no? So, of course, you could also extend, no? Yung mga fingers natin in between. But, yung pinaka-great extension nga comes from the first and the fourth finger. No? And, of course, we can discuss more on it on maybe another video about how you frame, no? I think we did this already, how we frame our fingers. Pero, yung movement here sa knuckles, importante din siya, no? Especially for moving up and moving down. So, paano mo siya pa-practice eh? You should, you practice by anchoring, no? One point, for example, first finger. Pwede ka mag-practice ng slides or you can practice diretso mo siya ibababa, no? So, it really depends on what your needs are, no? And of course, kung medyo maiksi yung fingers natin, there are exercises in which we could stretch out our fingers. May mga exercises sa mga self cheek no? On extensions, you could create your own as well, no? May mga, mga tao na gumagawa ng sarili nilang exercises and also good warm-ups, no? Yung stretchings na rin natin para mas mapalaki natin. So, it would really greatly depend on the length of your fingers. I think not really length, but more on the width. No? Kung gaano kalayo yung maaabot ng fingers mo. I don't have the longest fingers. I have very stocky fingers for a violinist. Diba? But I have a big hand. No? Malaki yung palm ko. That's why my technique might not work for you no? pag nag-practice ka. And if we have the same hand uh, size or type, baka makatulong din yung mga techniques ko sa'yo. Ayan. So, sana may natutunan kayo in this video. If you do, please do drop a like. Comment down below more content you'd like to see. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on all my socials. All the links you need down in the description box below. This has been Ryan Manakil for Violin Tips and Tricks. And I will see you on the next video.